Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Pro Shop where I as an average golfer try and find some well deals and offers that are out there. Golf is becoming a very expensive game and uh, what's on the table right now is offering you the opportunity to get involved at a lot lower price point. We've got some absolute belters coming up and I've also got two pieces of kit which are absolutely essential in lowering your scores and improving your golf game. Everything that you see on the table is from our partner at Hot Golf and I'll throw links to everything in the description as we go through it. I'm going to start off with what has become a real problem for a lot of golfers and that's being able to afford new equipment in terms of drivers. They're horrendously priced right now as you well know and the majority of the leading brands are pushing new product out at around £500 for driver. Now you'll see on the table I've got a tailor-made Stealth. That's not a Stealth 2, that is in fact the original Stealth stealth and hot golf have got these for sale for 329 that's an incredibly low price when you compare it to this is they've got the stealth and they've got the stealth hd hd being in front of me now 329 quid and when you consider stealth 2 is retailing right now at 499 then that's a huge bargain to be had and arguably just how much has stealth progressed in that 12 months well that's up for you to decide but clearly there is an absolute steal out there right now at 329 on tailor-made stealth original drivers plenty of stock at hot golf there's one thing i forgot to mention in the intro and i've just noticed it in the corner of my eye is this bag a lot alongside me because I'll also tell you how you can go about getting your opportunity to get your hands on what I think is arguably the best looking bag that we've seen in the majors so far this year it's an absolute belter right that's a driver at a decent price still expensive but a real decent price and plenty of options in terms of shafts as well this one was really interesting for me personally see more putters I've seen them for a number of years, never got my mitts on one. And uh, I've got to say, first thing that is notable out the wrapper is just the build quality. Superb, looks really nice. Center shafted putter, sits so nice behind the ball. And it's got real excellent feel. And I didn't know what this kind of red dot symbol um, indicates or what you're supposed to do with it in this case on uh, that hides behind the shaft or at least should do if you've got that shaft in the correct position so what you do is if your eyes are in the right position in terms of central over the ball you shouldn't be able to see that red dot so that's a little bit that helps in terms of alignment as well it gets the club head very flush at address really love that it did that and for me um, this in particular model was a, um, a bit of toe hang maybe not suited personally to my own stroke but i found it really good in and around the greens and like i said quality build there's a whole range of these available for 245 quid yeah that's an expensive one as well trust me we're going somewhere a lot opposite down the other end of the spectrum very very shortly um but i think perhaps before we do that there's an iron that is sat in that bag and there's just one of them in the minute and i think it's just off screen but take a look at this now i've seen images of these things but I've actually seen them obviously in hand and oh my God. It's the kind of iron that you really don't care too much as to how this thing performs because they just look so, so good. It is of course the tailor-made P790 in that blacked out finish. So it's the black head, black shaft, black grip. They're, I mean, in terms of the club itself, performance wise, it'll do the same as the standard 790, but it just looks incredible. You can ask me the questions about how long does the face stay looking like that. I have absolutely no idea. Don't uh, ask me that question baffled, but I do know that they're limited in terms of supply. And again, 1299 UK pounds. So uh, that's an expensive set of irons, but I think you'll all agree they look superb. So even if your golf's crap, you're gonna look like you've got a tiny set of irons in the bag. Anyway, moving on, we've done all the expensive bits. So we're gonna get on to two items which I feel can really, really improve your golf game when coupled together. We'll start off first of all with these wedges. These are from McGregor. Um, they're the Mac 2. There are some new wedges that have come out. And I'm going to start off first of all with a price point. These are $29.99. So rock bottom in terms of price point. 
I'd say look at them in terms of profile, look good on the shelf, slightly thicker top line, probably even put them in sort of maybe a game improvement type of iron, I don't know. Um, wide sole on them, plenty of bounce on each of the varieties that I chose, and there are 52, 56, and 60 degree available, so that's the limitations, that's all you've got to choose from, but arguably that's gonna cover most golfers' needs. Now the first point is, in terms of that price point, most wedges, and if we start off, we feature, featured a, um, a Cleveland, I think it was a Zipcore RTX 6 in our last episode and said it was a good buy, it was 90 quid because the new versions are 130. Well, if you think about it, you can buy three wedges for the same price as what you can get last year's model of Cleveland. So you're gonna cover your bottom end of the bag for 90 quid. So that's the kind of thing that, first of all, I love on this episodes of Pro Shop because they just highlight that you know golf can be affordable if you're looking in the right places. And I came away with this kind of haul, if you like, a few days ago, and I've got some more for another episode. And I've got to say what Hot Golf do incredibly well is just have some products that complete, I'm, I'm a golf snob, I've not seen these kind of things, and I'm gonna get on to something else that I've not seen either. And uh, it's opened my eyes a little in terms of being aware of, you know, there, are, there is stuff out there that, like I said, can make the game a lot more affordable than it necessarily is. So, these wedges, first of all, I did it before. When I took the 56 out, I uh, played a number of different shots with it. Um, so it's the same club on every shot that you see. Some I've tried to fire in a little bit lower, I've hit full shots. Um, I then moved on to sort of uh, a three quarter swing. I've then chipped in and around the green. You can see it all for yourself. And I've got to say, everything you'd expect to see from a 56 wedge. Don't expect too much spin right now. In the UK, our greens are baked, so I'm not expecting, and if you're playing golf up at Hollywell, you've got to land that ball in short, and there's a little bit of an element of luck as well in terms of that rollout. So um, I couldn't say in terms of spin what they achieve. It'd be wrong for me to do that now. They felt, they felt okay without being super soft. There's certainly, you know, I mean, there's, there's big jumps between the quality of what you're gonna find in that top price bracket. So I'm not gonna try and kid anybody on and say these are fantastic, but they were really, really good value for money. And arguably, I mean, a lot of people are gonna play golf with these, and if you handed them a top-end Vokey, they probably wouldn't notice a great deal of difference if I'm being perfectly honest with you. But, where again, just on this price point, I think it's a good thing is that you may fancy yourself of trying a 60 degree wedge, for example, not got one in your bag currently, don't really want to shell out hundred pound plus because a 60 degree wedge can be something that is very limited in terms of its use. You won't use it many times in your round of golf. So to shell out top end, you might be a little bit reluctant to do that. So the idea of investing just 30 quid in one of these uh, wedges is possibly a good investment. See how that goes, see if you like it. If you start to play it over the year or so and you think, okay, well, I wanna, I wanna invest a couple more quid, then at least you know you've made use of your 60 degree wedge and you can invest wisely. Instead of doing it the opposite way around, investing 100 odd quid plus in a top end wedge and finding it sits in the bag and goes nowhere. So that's the first idea for me as to where I would look to give these things a go at least, is if you fancy trying a different wedge, don't want to shell out big bucks that's an ideal opportunity but the other thing that is incredibly good value if I can reach around for it is this thing GPS device it's a uh, Schwami I think it's called the ace it is um, it's GPS device which does everything that realistically we need It'll keep track of your scores. It obviously gives you yardages front, middle, and center. And to be quite honest with you, for me, going around the golf course, all I did was, this was attached to a buggy, by the way. A lot of people like that in the US. So there's a little uh, magnetic holder on the back here. This sits in quite nice, pops in nice and out, in, in and out if you want to walk to your shot. Then it also fits in your pocket quite nice. I played golf with it in my pocket, quite a, a number of shots with it in my pocket, never even knew it was there. So it's really super lightweight, really clear display dead easy to reach for and if I'm being perfectly honest with you whenever I've had one of these in my bag whether I've got a, uh, a watch on my wrist doing exactly the same thing the only time I'm really reaching for this is when I'm looking to get a yardage to the flag I very rarely use it anything other than that 
and this does that it's that simple it's super lightweight you can see in relationship to my hand just how small it is that's 129.99 so again if you compare that to what is out there in terms of the money you can pay then to me that's a real good investment and this is where i'm going to couple two things together you buy that and you buy one of these wedges and basically you take this thing out and you work out exactly what you do with a 50 60 degree wedge i hope i picked the right one up there and when I say work out, you work out your yardage on a full swing, on a three quarter swing and on a half swing. And you keep working with this thing and that thing. And between the two of them, trust me, if you start to work out your yardage and get dialed in and drilled down with a wedge that you can always rely on. And I'm struggling myself, so I'm not I'm not preaching here. To, this is my idea this morning when I went out with the two of these things. And I thought, you know what, if I could pair these two together and spend enough time just working on my short game, really understanding what what I hit with each length of swing with just one wedge in hand, then I'm pretty sure that it would make a big difference to my game. Because I know personally that is where I'm struggling right now. So that's where it gave me the idea. 30 quid, 130 quid. So 160, I said 150, I'm a tenner out there. 160 quid, and you've got yourself a real good pairing of two items that could be a real wise investment and uh, yeah, save you a few shots in your round. Right, that's it. Pro shop done i would say the same thing these are all highlighted as being available from hot golf the idea is i don't care where you buy them from there's every chance that these kind of things are available from other retailers but i want you to support hot golf wherever you can certainly where i can because they support this channel right one last thing this bag unreal i mean I don't think I'd have the balls to rock up on the first tee with it because I think you're asking for asking for a bit of trouble. But if, I mean, I'd literally sit that there as an ornament. It looks absolutely superb. The way you can win this is quite simple. You have got to buy one of the Stealth 2 range of clubs from hot golf it's as simple as that and you go into a draw and then you've got the chance of winning this bag which i think will probably retail about 600 quid if i'm right but um or just go and buy one either way it's a superb bag once again thank you to hot golf for getting involved and supporting the channel in the way you do i hope you've enjoyed this episode of pro shop let me know what you want me to have a look at next if there's kind of things that i mean this kind of thing to me whew, what an absolute steal that is if i could find Find more of that and bring it to you i'd be delighted and if there's anything out there that you think i should be aware of then please go ahead stick it in the comment section below and i'll make sure we get it featured right thanks as ever for watching see you tomorrow night